welcome to another video by JustQuant.com. In our previous videos, we have seen how to calculate squares of two and three digit numbers using the duplex methodology. Now, in this video, we shall extend the same technique to calculate the squares of four digit numbers. We will first have a look at the duplex of numbers before applying them to calculate the squares of four digit numbers. For a single digit number, say A, duplex of A is A square. For a number with two digits, say A, B, duplex of A, B is two times A multiplied by B. For a number with three digits, say A, B, C, duplex of A, B, C is two times A times C added to B square. We have used these three duplexes to calculate the squares of two and three digit numbers. Now, to calculate the squares of four digit numbers, we also need to find the duplex of four digits say A, B, C, D, which is two times A multiplied by D added to two times B multiplied by C. For example, duplex of three is three square or nine, and duplex of 43 is 2 times 4, multiplied by 3, or 24. Duplex of 125 is 2 times 1, multiplied by 5, plus 2 square, which is 14. And duplex of 5743 is 2 times 5, multiplied by 3, added to 2 times 7, multiplied by 4, or 86. Now with this knowledge of duplexes, we will see how we can square four-digit numbers easily. Consider a general four-digit number, say, PQRS. The square of PQRS will have seven parts. During calculations, we shall pass from the rightmost duplex to the leftmost duplex. The rightmost part will be duplex of S. The next part will be duplex of RS. The one after that will be duplex of QRS. The middle part will be duplex of PQRS. The next part will be duplex of PQR. The one after that will be duplex of PQ. And finally, the leftmost part will be duplex of P. Let us now consider an example. Take 1221 square. Now using our duplex methodology, we know that the square will have seven parts. The rightmost part will be duplex of 1, the next part will be duplex of 21, the one after that will be duplex of 221. The middle part will be duplex of 1221. The next part will be duplex of 122, the one after that will be duplex of 12, and finally the leftmost part will be duplex of 1. We know that the duplex of 1 is 1 square or 1. Duplex of 21 is 2 times 2 multiplied by 1, which is 4. Duplex of 221 is 2 times 2 multiplied by 1, added to 2 square or 8. Next, duplex of 1221 is 2 times 1 multiplied by 1, added to 2 times 2 multiplied by 2 or 10. Duplex of 122 is 2 times 1 multiplied by 2 added to 2 square or 8. Duplex of 12 is 2 times 1 multiplied by 2 which is 4. And finally, duplex of 1 is 1. Now in some of these parts, we notice that some duplexes have more than one digit. Please note that only the leftmost part can have more than one digit. For the rest of the parts, we need to carry over the number preceding the unit's digit to the immediate left part, and add it there respectively. Hence for 10 which has 1 as the non-unit's digit, we need to carry over 1 to the immediate left which turns 8 to 9. Hence, combining all parts, we find that the square of 1221 is 1490841. One. Let us look into another example. Consider 5324 square. 
we know that the solution will have seven parts. The rightmost part will be duplex of 4, the next part will be duplex of 24, the one after that will be duplex of 324, the middle part will be duplex of 5324, the next part will be duplex of 532, the one after that will be duplex of 53, and finally the leftmost part will be duplex of 5. We know that the duplex of 4 is 4 square, which is 16. To make our calculations faster, let us carry over the non-unit digit numbers, now itself. Hence we carry over 1 to the immediate left part. Now we add 1 to the duplex of 24, which is 1 plus 2 times 2 multiplied by 4. That is 1 plus 16, or 17. Here again. The non-unit digit that is 1 is carried over and added to the duplex of 324, which is 1 added to 2 times 3 multiplied by 4 plus 2 square. That is 1 added to 28 or 29. Now 2 is carried over and added to the duplex of 5324, which is 2 added to the sum of 2 times 5 multiplied by 4, and 2 times 3 multiplied by 2, which is 2 added to 52, or 54. Now 5 is carried over and added to the duplex of 532, which is 2 times 5 multiplied by 2, plus 3 square. That is, 5 added to 29 which is 34. Now 3 is carried over and added to the duplex of 53, which is 2 times 5 multiplied by 3, which is 3 plus 30, or 33. And finally, 3 is carried over and added to the duplex of 5, which is 3 plus 25, or 28. Hence by combining all the parts, we get the square of 5224, which is 28344976. So with this, we end our video on squares of numbers with 4 digits. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.